Hey, what's up? This is El Cheeto. Um, I woke up this morning and I found out that last night my render or something happened to my 3D text motion tracking video and I'm just here to inform you that it's a re-upload and I'm sorry Neat Squid that I usually just thumb up your comments or I always thumb up your comments instead of replying to them because it just simply does not let me. I don't know if it's disabled on your mobile device or whatever the cause is. But it won't let me reply, so I'm just telling you right now that this is a re-upload with the full thing. I think it was just basically a render fail. But anyways, here is the full thing. And it's the same thing, it's just the full version. I guess what's up, it's El Cheeto. Today I'm going to show you how to 3D text motion track in Sony Vegas, any version of Sony Vegas, in Photoshop. It's only two softwares you'll need for this tutorial. And first things I have to say is, you probably want to check my first video on how to 2D text motion track with just Sony Vegas and you kind of get the gist of it. And the first thing you want to, uh, and another thing you have to remember, excuse me, like I said in the other tutorial, is that you want your video clip to be steady and you don't want it to be all over the place and I'm gonna find my video clip right here and I'm gonna find it and it is this one like I said you want it to be steady and not so fast and not so hard to do and the first thing you want to do is you want to check your video clip and you want to basically get an idea of where you want of what position you want your text so I'm gonna put my text right about there like I did in my last tutorial and as I can see it's just about a straight on view you know you can do it in the air but I'll show you how to do that or you can do it below here or you can have it looking down at it you can do whatever you can do many things with this and like I said in the other tutorial you want it slow and steady and not too curvy or nothing and another thing is that this is not too advanced so you're not going to be able to do shiny text or anything like that or gradient text it it's just not possible you can just make 2d text and make it really cool looking but it won't be a 3d text and this is not a hundred percent motion track it just kind of looks like it's motion tracked but anyways let's get right into the tutorial uh... first thing you want to do is you want to have photoshop opened and you just want to go file new and my this is not anything special you can have it whatever size you want <coughs> excuse me and but the only thing that is important I just have it 16 by 9 the only thing that's important is background contents and you have to have that transparent just make sure it's drop down transparent and press OK next thing you want to do is you want to select your text tool and just drag it out and for the tutorial purposes I'm doing text I'm not gonna add anything fancy or nothing like that and I'm just gonna keep it green because that's what I had when I opened it now when you're done with that you want when you're done with your text and your color you just wanna go to and you wanna select your text over here and just press on it go to 3D and a new 3D extrusion from selected layer and it'll load a little bit. It'll, it's gonna be slow because I'm recording. And um, here we go now. Any day now. Okay, there we go. Your text color will turn to the blandest color of text as possible. I am sorry about that, but that's just the way it is. And like I said in the other one, I'm basically looking straight at it. Right, this is zero zero right here. Like, it's zero down, zero left and right. But if you want it, you know, anything, like, if you are if you want the text in your video to be looking above it, you can just turn it like this. Or if you're looking at it from below, you can just turn it like this, and, you know, you can see that the text is different. But in this tutorial, I just have it straight on. So I'm just going to do straight on here. Bam. And after you're done with that, you can go up here to 3D and just go to, I don't know how to pronounce that, Esernatols, I don't know. Sorry, excuse my uh, English reading. And after that, you just want to go to File, Save As. And one thing that you do have to remember, you just save wherever, for this purpose, I'm going to go to Pictures, whatever. Um... You have to make sure that it is 
in PNG file. If you're in Europe, I don't know if there's PNG, but look it up uh, on Google if you're in Europe. If you have PNG, I think you might have PNG, but look up what supports uh, transparent backgrounds. But if you're in America, just do PNG. <clears throat> I don't know if Europe has PNG. And just go save. Oh, you got a title and I have it already used. I'm just going to go. Tut for tutorial. So just go save. And I just keep it at small slash slow and none. <laughs> I'm really not sure what this means. And press OK. And you can see down here progress. If you saw it, it went real fast. And after that, I'll be right back with Sony Vegas. Hey, now that I'm back in Sony Vegas with my video clip here, like I said in my other tutorial, which I highly suggest you to look, it's going to be the first link in the description. And it's on 2D Chicks Motion Tracking, like I already said a billion times. Um, you just want a slow, steady clip, and you want to keep it separate from your montage. Otherwise, it gets confusing, so you want to make the motion track and then render it out, and then put it on your montage. So, now that you're done with that and you have your clip and everything, you just want to go where you saved that picture. I have saved it under pictures personally. And I'm going to blur some things out there. I just have some junk in here from videos and shit. And the reason I'm blurring things out because it's family members and personal shit. How come I cannot find it? Oh, here it is. Text. And you just want to click and drag it onto your uh, thing. And boom, there it is. You have 3D text in Sony Vegas. Kind of a workaround for it, I guess. And the same thing as the other tutorial. Event pan crop and make it to the size. This is the same exact clip I used in the last one. And like I said, it's going to be a straight on view. And I'm going to put it right there. And actually, I think this actually looks pretty cool. Personally, when I use this, and I mean it's really cool. You can have it anywhere. I just think this is a really cool effect. Really simple too. But anyways, I'm just gonna keep it, you know, smaller-ish. You can have it, whatever, absolutely whatever you want. And like I said in the other tutorial, make sure that this is checked down there so that it goes with the video. And just keep a mental note. Click on the first keyframe. My bad and drag it across keep a mental note of where your text was at and it's gonna go black here soon black oh my clip isn't my text isn't long enough I didn't drag it long enough but anyways I'll just cut it down and you just wanna move it at your end of the clip to where it originally was Eggs out of that, I have to drag this to the normal size, go to the beginning, and boom, it should be perfectly motion tracked. Well, not perfectly, but it should look, the effect should be there. So that's all I have today, guys. Peace, stay safe, have fun, and if this helped you at all, leave a like, and if you really do enjoy this content, subscribe for more videos. That's all I have today, guys. Peace, stay safe, and have fun.